everybody. Thanks for being here today. Got a little project going on here. We're finally gonna get the garden side changed around. So, getting rid of all the grass here. I've actually got my landscape guy here today who's gonna um, get rid of the grass. We're gonna put down some gravel and then we're gonna be able to get our garden boxes going. One of the biggest issues I have over here is during the season, moving everything to try to trim down the grass and then I get a lot of clover that pops up through here. So that's really cumbersome in conjunction with all the slugs that like to pop up every which way here. So our hope is today, hopefully get this all finished up. Maybe depending on the weather, we've had some rain, snow, hail, a little bit of everything. Maybe I'll be able to get my garden boxes actually put up today. Maybe not filled, but at least get those going. We'll see how the, the day progresses with that. But I just wanted to give you a quick jump in on what we're doing here today with all the many projects I have going on in the yard today. Thanks for being here, hang out with us, and we'll have some fun. A few minutes later. So we're back. Just wanted to touch in real quick. We've got our area is sprayed out here all along the fence line just to help prevent any of the gravels from going in over into the neighbor's yard here. And we're also squared off here because this is basically the entrance into our garden space despite I will have garden bags all around but this is my main garden space here and um, we will pop back in in just a few minutes once everything else starts getting laid down but I just wanted to touch on step one here all right hang in there 20 minutes later all right so we're back it started hailing and now I think it's just raining at this point but framework is done, vapor barrier, landscape barrier there is down. So here pretty soon we'll start getting our gravel on top and get this area ready to go for our garden here. So we'll be back. I do wanna give a fantastic big shout out to Shalom Net Landscaping. They've been doing all of my bigger work that I just can't seem to do. Um, so I'm really excited and very grateful that they've been um, helping us with the process here. Be back in a minute. One eternity later. All right, so we're back again with another update. We have gotten our gravel starting to uh, fill in. As you can see, it's gonna be nice and thick to, again, prevent any um, grass or weeds or anything like that from coming up through into our garden space. Granted, this will all be kind of um, shoveled out from here all the way back down over towards the fence area here. Uh, just getting this whole area prepared for our upcoming season. I'm really, really excited about all of this here today. And we will be back um, with another update here shortly. Here they come with some more of the gravel here. All right. Many hours later. So we're back. They finished up pouring down all the gravel, getting that all ready here. So now we are officially ready to put our garden boxes together here. So we've got the three of them here that we're gonna go ahead and get put together in this spot here. And um, that's probably about as far as we're gonna get today is getting these constructed. I will not be filling them up quite yet. Um, weather permitting, we will do that next week. But we'll kind of see what happens there. Anywho, let's break these boxes open and get going. A few minutes later. Right, so we're just constructing our little garden box here. Uh, pretty simple, it's already pre-measured. You just slide the boards into here and it's got a little cap that you can put to cover. You just nail that right on top. These are really nice. Uh, it's made out of cedar, which is to resist rot and all that jazz. Initially, we were gonna make our own, uh, but my husband happened to be at that Home Depot one day, and these were on sale for about $37, which is a steal, um, and it ended up being more cost-effective to buy these versus buying all the materials to make our own as we uh, panned it all out. So we've just had these sitting in the garage for several months waiting for just this day to do so. But simple, simple. You just no tools needed or anything, really. You just get this lined up. You could use, I suppose, like a little um, rubber mallet to just, you know, get that down. 
but you would just take this pillar here and just line that up and slide that in. I'm wearing gloves to kind of help um, reduce catching any splinters or anything like that. I'm gonna just slide this next one in here. Just like that. And then we have more for our second row here. So as you can see there, you know, it's a, a pretty decent size. With the openness here, we don't have to put anything down once we do fill it. Um, some folks would put landscape barrier if they wanted to, but once we plant, the roots won't even touch down under to the soil or rocks here. Um, but we will more than likely just anyhow put the landscape fabric down just to, just cause. All right. And this is just taking just a couple of minutes here. Easy peasy, like I said, we will just probably nail the cap into there. But what we'll end up doing here is creating a square foot garden out of these boxes here, which is super exciting. Two hours later. So this has been really quick, I'd say, to get all, so far we're on our third one here, putting these all together. It's been maybe 15 minutes, if even that. The top parts here, my husband's um, just screwing on the little cap. That's rather optional, but it gives it that nice little added touch of, you know, fanciness to it. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that. Perfect. It's almost like putting Lego pieces together here. It's really quick. All tongue and groove there. We got lucky right now because it's not raining or snowing or hailing. We've had literally a little bit of every type of weather condition the last 24 hours. Twenty minutes later. Well, that is it for today. We had a lot going on. Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. Thumbs up if you liked today's video. Um, stay with us because we have still a lot more in store. But, you know, again, just want to shout out to Shalom Landscape in Lake Stevens, Washington. They have done so many wonderful projects for me so far for this early late fall early spring um to get everything going here um for me it is rather cold today so i am eager to get back inside the house but i think so far this came out fantastic again as far as raised beds go you can certainly make your own um like i had mentioned we were going to do ours but my husband just ended up finding these really really dirt cheap 37 dollars a box which you know i in the past and never purchased them because they were just a little bit out of my price range on what I was allotting myself to spend on things. Um, but it just, it just really panned out. All right, everybody. Thanks so much for being here with us again today. Take care. I'll see you in the next video.